Hello, welcome back. In this recording, we're going to cover free body diagrams of cantilever beams. It's pretty simple, but it's over, often overlooked. So when we talk about cantilever beams, why would we even want to learn about cantilever beams? Well, what I did was I searched up cantilever beams and I clicked on images, and you can see that in all a lot of civil engineering and mechanical engineering have cantilever beams in some sense or another. So they're very prevalent in our designs uh, worldwide. I mean, even a simple umbrella when you're sitting by the pool. So it's very good to, to think about how we could use and analyze a cantilever beam. So a cantilever beam, um, usually you'll see something that looks like this in your book. And a line here. And another line here, which represents an overhanging. Another way is to look at it as a diving board, um, something over a overhanging roof or a stop sign, uh, not a stop sign, uh, a stop light. There's all these, these forms. So what, what I want to focus on is taking a look at this. Oops, that's large. Don't want that. Taking a look over here and really focusing on um, what to do about this. So one thing that also you'll note, I'm going to change the color here to uh, a green, and I'm going to put, usually you'll see some sort of force out here or along along this, this beam. Not always the case, sometimes you'll see a You'll see the, the center of gravity being some weight that's drawn down. And then you want to analyze the, the forces over here. So let's start to take a look at how to draw a free body diagram of this. So first of all, I would what I want to do is I want to be able to cut very close to this. This represents a frame. And a frame is immovable. Um, or you can cut right here. It doesn't matter where you cut. But if you cut here, you have to replace it with something else. And that's what we'll do now. So let's change the color. And I'm going to redraw this. So we're going to cut that right there at that. We're not going to ignore this one, but we can change that and we'll draw the rest of the beam. So also, let's go back and let's draw all of the applied forces. So we have this force here, which is basically sometimes the weight. And we have this force hanging over here. But now we want to, what happens when we cut? We have to think and we have to analyze the forces. We need to replace this wall with something. Anything we cut, we have to replace it with some sort of vector force moment. Something like that. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to put a coordinate system on here. Coordinate systems are very, very useful in mechanical engineering. Without coordinate systems, we couldn't know where we were. So one thing that we can do now is I'm going to replace these with red and the common way or the standard is to put a force, let's call that F of Y. So you put a force in the Y direction when you have um, a frame and you're cutting away the beam. Then you have this force in the X direction. And this only lies up because we want the components of this overall force. Now remember, Fx and Fy are components of an overall force. We're not done yet. Okay, with a frame, th there needs to be this, this moment that needs to counteract. Now let's think about it um, a little differently. So if I go back to my original um, picture and I pull on this beam in this direction, it's not going to move. Right, maybe it'll stretch, but assume it's a rigid body, it won't move. 
All right. So therefore, <clears throat> um, it needs a force in that direction. All right. Furthermore, uh, if I apply these forces here, it needs to have some sort of force holding it up. So that frame is doing two things right now. Uh, it's, it's opposing a force in the x direction and a force in a y direction. That's why we re need to replace it, force x and force y. But it also has another third component to it, and it, it doesn't allow it to rotate. If there was some hinge there, I've got a door hinge, um, I could rotate this and it would, it would fall to the ground. All right, it would fall this way. But this frame, you need this moment counteracting these forces. Now, even if this moment wasn't here, these forces weren't there, you still have a moment because that's how um, this works. That's how we can start to analyze this even more so. This would be considered the free body diagram of a cantilever beam. I'm going to run through real quickly and I'm going to do the same thing slightly different if we cut it there. So say we cut it there. For my second cut. We still have this applied forces. And what we can do is we can shift our coordinate system and we can also apply a, a force in the y direction, a force in the x direction, and also here. Because we cut this, we didn't remove a pin uh, or, a, um, or a roller, we cut it. So therefore, in that regards, it's the same. It, they're not the same in value, but we can analyze them starting with the same, the, the cuts. But more importantly, what I see most students doing and this is incorrect, is this for a free body diagram. And I'm going to do it, so don't do this. I don't even like thinking about doing it this way. So we say we have forces here. We have the wall here. They automatically start to put force in the y direction, force in the x direction, and the moment. This right here, to draw, this is not a free body diagram. Um, so what I'm going to do is do this, cross this out. Well, why is it not a free body diagram? One thing is because we didn't remove anything. All right? We need to remove this to be a free body diagram. In here, um, the first free body diagram, we removed this frame and we replaced it with vectors and moment, uh, force vectors and moment vectors. In this one, we didn't remove anything, so we can't have anything. This right here is set telling and communicating that this still frame exists, but there's also an applied moment here. There's a applied force here and applied force here. There's no reactions drawn here. They're applied. So be very, very, very careful. And when you remove something, you have to replace it, but don't Remove, don't keep it there and put something else. That's a totally different situation. All right, so I hope you've learned some about how to do free body diagrams with cantilever beams. Have a great day.